Natalia was born in Trieste on 10 October 1882. She was the daughter of Colonel Alexander Konstantinovich and Milena, his wife. She was descended from the tragic Hilferi Obenovich dynasty, which had ruled Serbia for the greater part of the 19th century. She had one brother and her paternal grandmother was Princess Hanka Obenovich. Natalia and her family were exiled from Serbia after her father criticized King Alexander I's unpopular marriage to the notorious Draga Mation. They lived between Nice, Italy and Vienna. On 25 July 1902, in Montenegro, Natalia was married to Prince Mirko Petrovich Njegos of Montenegro, the second eldest son of Nicholas I of Montenegro. Prince Mirko fallen in love with Natalia, who was described as beautiful, dark high brunette. King Alexander was not pleased by the news of the marriage, as he believed the Mirko had only married heir in order to obtain the Serbian crown. In addition, Mirko's dad had assisted Zorka had been the wife of Alexander's rival, Peter Karadjordjevic. As a sign of his displeasure, he refused to receive either Natalia or Mirko at his court. As Natalia was the granddaughter of Princess Hanka, who had been assassinated in Belgrade on 10 June 1868 along with her cousin, the Serbian government promised that in the event of King Alexander dying childless, Mirko would be proclaimed Crown Prince of Serbia. In late May 1903, King Alexander and his consort Draga were assassinated by a group of army officers Prior to the assassination, the conspirators had vowed to pass the crown to Mirko's brother-in-law, Peter, the head of the rival Serbian dynasty. The couple had five sons, however, two died in early childhood. Stefan, Stanislav, Michael, Pavlo and Manuel. Her two elder sons died, and she gave birth to her third son, Michael. On 28 August 1910, Montenegro became a kingdom, with her father in law ascending the Montenegrin throne as the first and only king. In 1916, the defense of Montenegro collapsed when the Austro Hungarian forces invaded the kingdom during the World War I and the entire royal family, including Natalia, was compelled to flee to Italy. The couple were divorced in 1917 and Natalia moved to Paris with her surviving sons. The following year, Mirko died in Vienna and the eldest surviving son, Michael, became head of the house of Petrovich Niegus. Natalia took Michael to Eastburn, England, where he completed his primary education. In March 1920, she married secondly in his born Gaston Count Rambaud de Dazelle, a Belgian diplomat, and had two daughters, Hélène and Anne-Marie. Princess Natalia died in Paris on 21 August 1950 at the age of 67.